Hi, I'm Mark Camosio and we're Gunmark TV. And we're going to show you here a very impressive rifle from Brocock. Now, obviously, Brocock have undergone this sort of um, soft transformation, BRK, Brocock, etc. And they've launched the Ghost just recently, which I thought was an interesting, um, sort of curious bit of marketing as they started to look a bit day statey as such. But I think this one has got real character as a, as a, as a self-contained Brocock rifle. It's based on the Sniper XR model, and this is the Brocock Sahara XR. And basically you get a 480cc uh, highlight, uh, as they term it, carbon fibre buddy bottles up front. And that basically means it's a huge shot count, so we'll just, I'll come back to that, but it, I think it's the largest shot count in their range. And that's a big selling point to a lot of people. The, I should also point out, the, obviously you've got that very neat accessory rail underneath but the, the bipod here an optional extra so it doesn't come with a gun but we've got it there it just shows obviously you can just put it down it's very neat as a bipod shoot off a bipod etc or you can add on lasers etc everything you can do with an accessory rail but I think as it stands the this Sahara model is very sleek and uh, really well presented off you've got a full length barrel shroud here all in the sand color that they're that they're using here it's threaded at the front a half inch unf style silencer on there is a bit of um, noise um, suppression going on inside the um, shroud and then obviously get moving back you can see you've got twin manometers here obviously there's long been a, a deal with or brocock and Huma. that's the dutch company that make regulators so obviously this is a regulated action and you can see that the top gauge shows constantly the regulator pressure and then the bottom one shows the residual main pressure in the bottle but that's very neat and in the perfect place obviously for that charge in the system you've got the magnetic very neat cover there that's all sort of soft uh, the foster style snap-on uh, charging system and then you just put that back on. Yeah, they used to leave that uncovered and everyone would moan about it. Now they've gone the other way and very neat system. Moving back, you can see they've uh, chosen to define it on the stock here and that's just referring to the safety catch. You can see inside you've got a, a two-stage semi-match trigger unit with a really nice adjustable match blade. And then you've also got your safety catch inside and that's just the push tab system there all running along the top of there an extended picatinny scope rail and then the picatinny rail extends behind so you can use all that for mounting there you've got a power adjuster on here which is again really nice it stops in sort of three stages so you've got a full power you've got a mid power and then low power now on test i think well, i'm having around about 11 foot pounds from this on test mid power uh, only went down to about 10 foot pounds but it still helps to reduce the power and then i think the lowest one will confirm it all but i believe that was about seven foot pounds now obviously you've got a sh huge shot count anyway here but if you reduce it right down you might be you just want an informal practice session you don't need full power you reduce that power down you're going to get a you know a massive shot count so it's a neat little feature gives you a little bit of control obviously you've got the really nice side lever action and this is the biathlon style side lever and the multi-shot system so we've got uh, the the latest style of gate magazine and we'll show you that in a minute moving back here as a sand colored uh, synthetic stock got that very nice slim grip there for me that's perfect configuration and you obviously you've got an adjustable cheek piece here and you look around there and you've got twin um, allen key bolts that go in there and that gives you you can just control that and raise and lower the cheek piece that really helps it's a massive uh, feature it's more and more common these days but really helps to, to get the, your eye level right moving to the back you see one single allen key there and that then you've got that beautifully concave soft rubber pad and that again helps you you're going to get a perfect position i mean i've got that that's pretty good as it's as it's comes there i've raised i could probably do with raising that slightly more but you can get it set perfectly for you let's now see the multi-shot system 
So basically you cock that back, there's, that's totally effortless at that stage. And then there's a small bit of additional pressure. These are premium top end air rifles now. They've really elevated the brand. And the, you know, the effort and the slickness of this, it, it, it shows against some of the cheaper inferior rivals. The magazine that comes out, just pop that out. Right, so we've got our magazine. So it's the new style of gate magazine. Lift that front up, pre-tension that drum. So you're turning that clockwise. Then drop a pellet into the bottom chamber. And that then, make sure it doesn't fall out. So you just gotta keep your finger over that hole. Once you've um, sort of retained it, uh, held, held it back with that one shot, then you just gotta drop pellets into all the remaining chambers. And there are 13 shots in 177, which I've got on test here. And then they're also a 10 shot in 2.2. I, I believe you can get FAC versions of this in 2.5 calibre as well. Right, so we filled that, closed that up, and now I'm inserting that through there. And again, you can feel the magnet, pull it in. All feels nice and crisp and slick. And um, again, that's part of what you're paying for with these. It's the, you know, it's upmarket machining and design. Then shut the lever, and then we're away. And I'll just fire a few shots. How slick and fast that is, and it, it's so almost effortless it's it is brilliant and it's very very slick magazine multi-shot system very impressive and so i mean this is the, this is the difference you can pay a lot less for air guns but you, you can feel a bit of roughness in the way it cycles etc these they've now got these you know off to a t and it's um it's a lovely gun so yeah so the but the um bipods an extra but it's that uh, um, if I didn't mention it, it's a sort of semi bullpup style because see the action's not right to the end. They started it with a compatto, but they brought the action slightly back. So it's, normally it would start sort of three or four inches forward there, and you can see it starts here. So it's that unusual sort of mid configuration, but they've got it off to a T. This balances well, and it's a, it's a very sleek um, gun. I would say, I mean, shot count wise, there's 380 shots in 177, 420 in 22. They're a rough guide. But that's huge so um, it's not all about shot count but this is it's got great capabilities and it's a, a very slick piece of kit so that's the brocock sahara xr mm -hmm.